Steve measures his success with the Bears by their actions. 24 hours after shooting rubber bullets at the sow and cub, they're staying away from homes and eating their natural food in the forest. It looks like the aversive conditioning is working. Wow, I mean, this is what it's all about uh, when we get them to practice more of this behavior and less human action uh, behavior. My job is, uh, the, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. In the quiet of the forest, Steve gets his first close-up look at the sow. These young bears are difficult to identify sometimes with them shutting out and changing colors. This one's a two-tone bear, a little bit unusual. It's a three and a half year old female. She came out of hibernation with two cubs. One died right away early in the spring, and then she was left with one cub. She entered at least three different homes while she had her cub. One of the really odd things is that the homes are all being vandalized in the daytime. Steve begins to piece together everything he knows about this bear. It all seems eerily familiar. The size makes sense. Her age makes sense. Every single thing indicates that it's the bear who entered all the homes. Last year, Wandy. that she could be alive and wreak havoc. That just gave me shivers up my spine. 